Well, we are live here in Las Vegas from Allegiant Stadium. It looks beautiful this morning. It's all set up for the big game. The outside of the stadium has been showing off the 49ers and Chiefs logos, along with the Super Bowl logo, turning the home of the Raiders into this scene for Super Bowl 58. Now, inside the stadium, it's more of the same for the big game. The field is painted, the Super Bowl banners are hung, and video boards are all lit up with Super Bowl logos. It's two years in the making to get the stadium and everything else in Vegas ready for this week. The senior director of live events for the NFL says partnerships in Vegas have made this week memorable. What's really cool about Vegas is they're just such incredible hosts. This is what they do, right? It's sort of the entertainment and event capital of the world. The NFL has had employees on the ground in Las Vegas since January. They say the plan to return to Vegas for more Super Bowls in the future. Now, you may remember this story. The home of the Super Bowl 58 may have something hidden that advantages that gives Chiefs an advantage here in Vegas. Remember this picture. That's Gerald DeCosta holding a red Friday flag at the construction site of Allegiant Stadium. In the post from 2017, he claimed to bury the flag under the stadium while working on the project. Now that the Super Bowl is in town, the story is resurfacing. We reached out to DeCosta again this week and he said, quote, a good magician never reveals his secrets. He's not confirming or denying whether the flag is there.